What are the different components in an aquaponics system? Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of the tutorial on aquaponics. In this video, I will talk about the different components in an aquaponics system. Before we begin, thank you for watching my videos and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram as InspireMe. Either you buy a fully operational aquaponics system or you build your own DIY system in your backyard, it is very important to have a good overview and understanding of the basic components in an aquaponic system and what are the functions. Let's see the different components which can be present in an aquaponic system. Let's begin with the fish tank. The fish tank is the home of your aquaponic fish. It is also where the fish waste will be produced and converted to the form that plants can use. The fish tank is your first consideration and your choices here will be based primarily on the size and material and on your personal efforts. The tank can be as small as an indoor aquarium or as large as you want. You can use ponds like those used for koi, to food grade barrels or also IBC tanks. You can also build your own fish pond with a little more time and effort. The aquaponics fish tank that you will choose will determine the number and size of the fish you can raise in the system. And the size of your fish tank will also affect the number of plants you can grow. The bigger the tank means more fish, which also means more plants. In an aquaponic system, the sump sits at a point lower than the grow beds and is the tank into which the grow beds drain. The sump tank has different use in an aquaponic system. The water pump can be placed in the sump tank. It is better to put the pump in the sump tank than in the fish tank. As in the sub tank, the water is cleaner, thus less pump maintenance is required. It is also easier to access the water pump in the sub tank for maintenance purposes. The sub tank can also be used to recollect the water from the other grow beds. At some regular intervals, you will also need to buffer the system and the sump tank is the best place to buffer your system as it may harm your fish if you buffer the system in your fish tank or it may also harm your plants if you buffer the system in the grow beds. The next component is the settlement tank. The settlement tank is usually placed just after the fish tank, it will collect most of the fish waste from the fish tank. It may collect up to 80 to 90 percent of fish waste from the fish tank. These fish waste can later be flushed from the settlement tank 
and used as a good fertilizer for plants in soil. Clarifiers. What are clarifiers? Clarifiers can be placed just after the settlement tank to act as a filter to filter the remaining fish waste not collected by the fish tank. The air pump. A good air pump in an aquaponic system is of extreme importance. Even water life needs oxygen. Without air in the system, the fish will die and they will die fast. Even the plants needs oxygen. The air pump has several outputs. Each outputs are connected to air stones which creates bubbles in the water. Let's move on to the last components of an aquaponic system which are the growing medias. The growing media are where you will grow all your veggies. In aquaponics, you have different methods of growing veggies depending on the type of veggies that you want to grow. The main growing medias are firstly, media beds. Media beds contains growing media such as gravels, river stones, clay pebbles, or other gravels like material. This is an important component in an aquaponic system. It provides a home for colonization of microorganisms and beneficial bacteria. The micropores in the grow media provide a habitat for microorganisms to multiply and assist in making the system fertile and healthy. The media bed also acts as a biofilter in the system. Raft beds. What are raft beds? In raft beds, you have floating materials, which usually is polyester or LDP, which floats on water in a pool. The rafts have several slots in which you place grow cups in which the crops are inserted into. The roots of the plants are being submerged and are fed with a constant nutrient-rich water flow. It is highly practical and efficient system to grow soft veg vegetables such as lettuce and green leaf veggies. NFT systems. NFT means nutrient film technique. If you have a vertical surface to exploit in your backyard, you can use NFT. The setup is easily built with water pipes drilled every 10 to 25 centimeters each, according to the different crops you will plant. A continuous nutrient rich water is circulated in the top, feeding crops while flowing down the pipes. You can either do a single pipe design or several level pipes connected with elbows and supports. You have also another type of growing media which are called towers. Towers. These are very cleverly designed vertically growing systems. They are called zip grow vertical towers. They are called zip grow because you just zip up the seedings between two pieces of durable mesh materials and drip the water from your fish tank through the top opening. You also have wicking beds. Wicking beds are containers with a water reservoir at the base that acts like a giant self-watering pot. Instead of watering your bed from the top down, 
Moisture is drawn up through the soil via a process called capillary action or wicking. The system contains soil and used specifically to grow crops below soil such as potatoes, beetroots, carrots, etc. In this video, we went through the different components of an aquaponic system. We also did an overview on the different growing medias that are used in an aquaponic system. These growing medias will be discussed deeper in details in the next videos. In my next video, I will show you my own aquaponic system in my backyard. You will be able to visualize the different components that has been discussed in the first two videos before we move on to more technical topics. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates on my next videos. See you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.